So it's people like this that can't see the forest for the trees, they can't think two moves ahead, they don't see what's coming. And I am, and I'm also not referring to the garbage that you're staring at currently. This is so low down on the totem pole, it's not even funny. And I've addressed it numerous times. <clears throat> so I got this kid, who's squawking because I mentioned that in this post, there's somebody promoting eugenics. So they chimed in, and as I often state, open your eyes instead of your mouth, you know, research, don't react, but they've ridden me numerous times. <laughs> so while I'm making food, as always, I'm, I'm, I'm killing time talking to a dud. So he states, uh, eugenics, and I say he because his name's Michael. <laughs> eugenics refers to planned breeding of humans. Maybe you are misinformed of its definition. And that's not the first comment in here, which doesn't make a lot of sense. It should be at the top. Maybe it's further down. Maybe you replied to another thread. This shit's such a mess. Either way, I said, Mike, oh, this is my usual canned response. This isn't the most eye-opening blah, blah, blah. But if you've never heard it, I said, Michael, if you're the slowest person in the room and no one is wise to this fact, why open your mouth and remove all doubt? Let's see if we can find the other jazz. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so he said, who says cross-dressing anymore? And there's still another comment in here, but I don't know why it's not popping up. And so I told him, uh, good people don't promote social engineering jargon. Here, let's see if it will show up. <laughs> no, it doesn't show up, so maybe it didn't post or it... Here, let's write it. Good people do not promote social Engine. Oh, look, he's writing me right now. Engineering jargon. Oops. Jargon which lends it oops, itself. I know this is painful for me too. Itself to promote. Well, to propagating, promoting. Let's say promoting again. Fuck it. Promoting our masters agenda. Like I said, I haven't eaten food yet. <laughs> Agendas. Craziest thing is, is I already wrote them back once. I just don't get it. <clears throat> uh, let's see what he just had to say for shits and giggles. Uh, I don't have to. You've already done it for me. <laughs> Your assumptions are duly noted, Michael. Duly noted. Let's see. Let's say numerous. Unfortunately, these kids are out there, but that's why these things are getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, what didn't post in here, which is strange, <clears throat> I spelled it out for him in terms of eugenics. I said man merging with machine, creating a subpar species. And by doing so, our masters, who, you know, didn't take that chemical cocktail, and the list goes on down the line, they're the only humans. It sounds pretty far-fetched, and yet it's not, if you look into it. If you consider what's in the programming, if you are simply paying attention to what's currently happening. This involves the digital push for currency to no longer be hard currency. This has to do with the MK Ultra projects. This has to do with numerous facets of quote-unquote society. But... People have been trained to think in terms of literal humor, so they don't see how any of this could possibly be connected. Have a conversation with people about, uh, you know, the beast chip, the 666 beast chip, brought to you by the Antichrist. I sounded a little too Alex Jones, and he's controlled opposition, so I apologize for that. Um, but have a conversation with somebody about that. And out of the gates, just because you don't have one in your hand or your forehead, they're going to tell you, no, it's not. It has nothing to do with it. Everything's fucking peachy keen, man. 
No fucks given, as the kids say. And yet, Fed now was rolled out in July, so it was uh, World Coin. And these things are working towards. What am I referring to? And this is connected to a eugenics agenda. And yeah, because cross dressing, and it, it's fucking cross dressing. Anything else is a flowery way to put it. I mean, it's a dude in a dress or a gal in fill in the blank. It's tomboys and sissies. But we don't need a bunch of other flowery jargon. Here's another way to put it real fast. <clears throat> So now we have organic food, which means you have organic food and you have poison, and even some of the organic food is corrupted. But if we never bought into the social engineering jargon, we would just have fucking food that was healthy and benefited us and didn't ruin our guts and the list goes on. Didn't kill children, didn't cause autism, didn't <laughs> cause cancer. I mean, what the fuck do I know? So maybe there is an importance on not buying into the social engineering jargon because now suddenly... Kids are being told that there's a gray area that you can determine the sex or gender of your buddy or your children whenever the fuck you want to. You can be a goddamn unicorn if that's how you identify yourself. Uh, it's so wishy-washy doesn't make any goddamn sense. You got XX and you got XY. You got dudes and gals. It's a binary system. You see this in the numbers, but you also witness this every single day and night. You see this in this fucking system. It gets hot, it gets cold. It gets dry, it gets wet. It's a binary system. There's no refuting it. It's how things work. <clears throat> you live and you die, motherfucker. Seriously. But you got people like this out there. They don't have the first clue. And they're more than willing to do anything the TV tells them to do. Uh, or the social engineering platforms, you know, social media. They're, they're willing to play follow the fucking leader. And our masters are counting on that. If you look into, you know, psychology is largely horse shit. <clears throat> but one of the ways that uh, you and I are controlled, so to speak. And this is good and bad. It's part of what maintained how society was held together and had some values for a while when people had a moral compass. <clears throat> Say somebody wronged you and you have, you know, your mom and your dad, or even just your mom or your dad. Maybe, maybe not both parents, because even before the nuclear family was being broken down, sometimes one of the parents passed. Shit like that did happen, and there were single parents. Either way, um... Say a bully beat the fucking shit out of you, and you're so pissed off, you want to go and you want to cause them physical harm. You want to stab them to death or something, you know what I mean? You want to do something, you know, a little rough around the edges. But you don't. Because one, you have a moral compass and you were raised right. But two, if you did something like that and you went to jail or you died in the act even, but regardless, the community will shame your remaining parent, your mom, your dad, or both of them, however you want to look at it. And because you care about them and you have a moral fucking compass, you don't want them to live with that. So you don't do that. You do the right thing. It's how things work. It's how things used to work. But it's also how our masters get us because they understand that works. So, pure pressure, motherfucker, does that mean anything to you? Here in good old society... <clears throat> repetition is programming and all programming is normalization and just like that you got kids like this saying who says cross-dressing anymore it's 2023 grow up personally if someone were truly growing up and acting like an adult and doing all the right goddamn things, they wouldn't play follow the leader. They wouldn't ride the bandwagon or somebody else's coattails. They'd be thinking for themselves and making conscious decisions. But as always, what the fuck do I know? This will probably be flagged as a hate speech. Thanks for your time and energy. And I think my bagel creature is almost done. Have a nice day, internets. By the by, this could be a bot for all we know these days, and or just one of these brainwashed kids, you know, somebody who bought into this garbage. Uh, they've been censoring the comments, most likely. That's why nothing's popping up. I just left this one. But 
Take it with a grain of salt. People like this are out there. Let's see if this one still stands. Nope. Nope. Good old censorship. Nope. As you well know, I'm a cuss, so I'm going to leave this on the internet as well. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. So he said, Michael, a.k.a. blah, 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 uh, still responded, so I'm going to have to send it to the main thing. Uh, censored my response, cross-dressing isn't a gender it's, or a race, it's part of a eugenics agenda, look into it. Pisses me off that it still replied to this fucker, though. It should have just dumped it in there. Well, it says no one's censoring me, but that shit's not popping up, so that makes you wonder, doesn't it? Where's the top of the stack? Oops, did I just... There we go. Oh, now it's doing that again. Motherfucker. I want you guys to see this. So this guy's telling me, no one is censoring you. You should check to check and see if your meds are balanced. You seem off kilter. I'm not seeing any of the comments I've left him. So if he... <laughs> I wish this thing would shut the fuck up, but where did it go? Uh, he says, who says cross-dressing anymore, or blah, blah, blah. Either way, there's no comment underneath that. Just so the internet sees what I see. Let's do this one. Fucking shut up. Uh, no response yet again. I've responded to each one of these. Which you can tell because it says view reply. But why isn't it popping up? What the fuck? Why? Okay, so it is there, but it's not underneath the other jazz. Why? Okay, so these things are still there, but they're not connected to the comments? Does that make sense to anybody? So this is off in fuck all? I'm baffled. Alright, so on this one, it's on me, and it's just how TikTok works. You have to click on reply. <laughs> And there's no context. There's the one that I was looking for earlier. It's it's cute. You didn't look into it. You reacted a second time. Merging man with machine creating a subspecies that is no longer human. Fucking bizarre. Fucking bizarre. All right, let's tell Michael. <laughs> uh, you've already done it for me. Where's the other one at? One second. There it is. Wait, what's he say? I haven't taken any action towards you, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, looks like the comments aren't allocated to the statements. Finally found them. Off in fuck all. Whoops. Whoever designs this shit. Granted, maybe I'm missing some of the subtle nuances of TikTok. <laughs> this seems fucking backwards. Um, I can still see them. Da 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 da. Here, on my end. I recorded what it looks like, and it is not only cumbersome, it, it looks like there is no response. There we go. All right. This bumped well past my 10 minute mark because of this jazz. I'll splice these together and leave them on the internet so people can cry. Okay, now that I have a bagel creature in me and a dirty chai, not all is right as rain, but I feel a little bit better. Uh, good old Michael keeps on, just, it keeps on coming, is what I'm trying to spit out said, no, I believe you have the right to say what you want. 
even if it's nonsense. So now I've learned if I click on reply, here, let's click on the picture first and see if it's there. Is my response there? <laughs> no, no it's not. But if you click on this, which is what I learned. Here, let's read it to you. <clears throat> As I stated, look into it, don't buy into it. You reacted within seconds, which means popular opinion and hearsay dictate your actions. But as always, what the fuck do I know? Just one to grow on.